Okay, so let's start talking about the eye here. Okay, this is our eye model. You'll see you have the upper and lower eyelids. Your upper and lower eyelids are called palpebra. So this is your upper palpebra. This is your lower palpebra. The space or the opening between the two eyelids is called the palpebral fissure. And when you have your eye open, you can see into the eye and you see that the black center is the pupil. The colored area is called the iris. So if you have blue eyes, your iris is blue. If you have green eyes, it's green, and brown eyes, your iris is brown. Then the whites of the eye are called your sclera. So the black pupil, the colored portion is the iris, and the white is the sclera. This gland over here is called your lacrimal gland. This is where your tears are gonna be produced. They'll go from the lacrimal gland through these ducts here. These are called your lacrimal gland ducts. They will wash across the eye and they will enter into these little, you see them as black specks or black dots on the upper and lower eyelids. Those are your lacrimal punctum. They're actually little, almost like puncture holes. Um, the tears will enter into the lacrimal punctum. They will then go into the lacrimal caniculus. You have an upper and lower, so the lacrimal caniculus. It will then pull into the lacrimal sac, and then it will go down into the nose, and it will empty into the nose through the nasolacrimal duct at the bottom of this lacrimal sac. This wad of skin to the middle of your eye, that is called your lacrimal caruncle. So you can see it in my eye right here. Okay, so that little wad of skin right there where you get sleep a lot of times, that is your um, lacrimal caruncle. Then you have the angle that's made by the upper and lower palpebra. So again, the side that has your lacrimal gland is gonna be the lateral side, and the opposite side is gonna be your medial side of the eye. So this angle right here on the lateral side is gonna be your lateral canthus. And this angle formed on the medial side here, right here, is called your medial canthus. So lateral canthus, medial canthus, and actually the canthus is right here. The holes, seen as two dots, lacrimal punctum. This pink wad of skin right there is called your lacrimal caruncle. I know there are a lot of names here that are similar. Okay. Um, if you flip your eyelid up, you can see the interior side of the eyelid. So let me do that. So I flipped this upside down so you could see the underneath. Like if you're gonna peel your eyelid up and look on the inside of your eyelid, you'll see this pink area here. This is gonna be your conjunctiva, okay? That's the skin on the inside lining of the eyelids called conjunctiva. Okay. Okay, so we've taken the eyelid off and now we're left with the eye itself. But first we're gonna look at the muscles. So you have the muscle on top of the eye that it goes straight back. This is called your superior rectus. This one on the outside, the lateral side is called your lateral rectus. On the medial side is your medial rectus, and on the bottom here, you're gonna see the inferior rectus. So superior rectus, um, medial rectus, lateral rectus, and inferior rectus, okay? So you also have to know the actions of each one of those muscles. So our superior rectus is gonna cause the eye to turn up, the medial rectus is going to cause the eyes to go towards the middle, so like when you're going cross eye. The lateral rectus is going to allow the eye to look laterally. The inferior rectus is going to allow the eye to look down. Then you have two muscles that come in at angles. So this one on top that comes in at an angle, this is called your superior oblique. And on the bottom here, you have another diagonal muscle goes across the bottom here. This is your inferior oblique. 
and both of your obliques, the action uh, is to cause the eye to roll or to look in a rotational manner. So if you're rolling your eyes, your inferior oblique and superior oblique are acting in concert to make your eyes roll. So again, know each of those six muscles and know the action of each. At the back of the eye, you'll see this is your optic nerve. So this nerve is gonna go from the brain into the back of the eye. So all the sensory information that is received from this eye will go from the eyeball through the optic nerve into the brain where the information will be processed. There is a plastic, I meant here on our models, it's plastic, plastic covering going around the iris and the pupil. This plastic covering here is called the cornea. Here you see all of this white, it's called your sclera. Now you have, when you're looking at it here, sorry, my eyeball's falling apart here. This is the cornea. And then here you can see your iris. Between your cornea and your iris, there is a clear piece of glass in this model that should sit right here. That piece of glass that fits between the cornea and the iris, that is your lens. Okay, I'm using this because you can see it better. You couldn't see the glass piece earlier. So that piece of glass that fits in this model between the cornea and the iris would be the lens. Okay, now you have the chambers and cavities to go over. Okay, you have two cavities in the eye from here to here. This whole area right here is the anterior cavity and all of this back here is the posterior cavity. So where my fingers are, that's the anterior cavity. All of this space back here would be the posterior cavity. Now your anterior cavity has two chambers. Before you get to the iris, all of this chamber here where the lens would go, this is called your anterior chamber. And then after your iris and before you get to the posterior chamber, right here is called your posterior cavity or posterior chamber. So all of this is your anterior cavity, where my fingers are going across, anterior cavity. It's separated into your anterior chamber and your posterior chamber. All of this is full of aqueous humor, which is a liquid. All of this back here is your posterior chamber and it's full of vitreous humor, which is your eyeball jelly, helps maintain the shape of the eye. I'm gonna switch, well, I'll tell you what, before I switch models, there's one other thing. You'll see here that you have this fat around the eye. That fat is called orbital fat. That helps to uh, cushion the eye. So if somebody pops you in the eye, you don't want your eyeball to rupture. So this forms, this orbital fat forms the cushioning to keep the eye from bursting, to help form a cushion between the eye and the surrounding bones. Okay, so now we've moved to another model. Um, it's showing a lot of the same things, but the coloring is a little bit different, so it helps us um, actually see the differences. Okay, so right here you have this scalloped edge. This scalloped edge here is called your aura serrata, and then you see these little white lines. These little white lines are called your ciliary bodies. The layers here, you see the white layer right here. The outer layer is called the sclera. That middle layer, is, you see as a dark line right here, that's your choroid. And then the light pink, which also can see all, you can see it all the way on the inside of the eye here. All that is the retina. Okay. Back here, this is gonna be your optic nerve. You can see your central um, retinal artery and vein. So the red is your central retinal artery. The blue is your central retina vein. If we turn this a little bit, 
you can see two different areas. You have your optic disc and your fovea. So your optic disc is gonna be right here where your optic nerve comes in as well as your central retinal artery and vein. So that little yellow circle disc area right there is called your optic disc. This is your blind spot. Then this one over here is called the fovea. The fovea is the point of the greatest um, clarity in your vision. Okay, so that's the fovea. So optic disc, that's the little circle, the yellow circle right here, optic disc. And this yellow circle is called the fovea. On this one, you can see we're showing the optic disc here in black and the fovea here in yellow. Okay. And now let's talk about these cells over here. So these are gonna be the different neurons related to the sense of sight. These up here are gonna be your ganglion cells. These here are gonna be your bipolar cells. And then down here are gonna, all the brown ones down here are gonna be your rods and cones. So again, ganglion cells, bipolar cells, and rods and cones. 